hey what's good is your boy king b back again with another video okay so uh i think they think we stupid okay first they're gonna take our sleepy joe all right which we knew what was gonna happen you know the narrative was going to be oh he's old he's sick blah 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 we already know that was going to happen all right then they got the nerve to throw this kamala chick up in there as if we supposed to jump behind her and go 100 percent uh-uh not us we ain't falling for it again sorry can't do that so guess what i wanted to see some of these crazy memes that they made of this kamala chick because we're gonna have fun with this she is just you know off the walls and i mean honestly if you ask me just about the same as sleepy body so hey man let's check it out let's let's get a couple of laughs in on this thing and see this weird chicken action all right let's go oh, you're oh be yeah the next president of the united states <laughs> she talked like she high or That's something what you did to <laughs> <laughs> what kind of you, you are a mess it's like it's like she talked like she's slow or something forever what paid for by kamala harris wait what the what wakanda oh yeah they think we stupid they think we stupid she got the wakanda forever Paid for by Kamala Harris. Yeah, no chick. Best rapper alive. Tupac. Oh boy. I love good news. Did she say Tupac? Best rapper alive? Tupac? I'm trying to tell you, man. Something ain't right. Something ain't right, man. She just, just as blank in the brain as your boy Biden. Don't fall for this mess, man. We ain't going for the black community. Stand behind it. Don't go for this bull crap. It's a trap. News. Love good news. I just love good news. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> Why is she always laughing? Who doesn't love a yellow school bus? Right? Oh my Can you gosh. Raise your hand if you love a yellow school bus. Oh right? my god. Come. Hey, any of y'all love yellow school buses? Please put it in the comments. Don't you love yellow school buses? Don't when you see one, you just get so excited. Like, man, that yellow bus looks like sunshine and rays. And I am just so happy now that I saw this yellow school bus rolling down the street with bad kids giving me the finger. Boy, I love them yellow school buses. Oh my gosh. Uh, do not come. I'm gonna come. Do not what? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> What's so doggone funny? That laugh is just like, ugh. We're talking about the significance of the passage of time. The right? passage the of time. The significance of the passage of time. The significance so when you think of about the passage it, there is great significance time. to the passage of time okay. in terms of what we need to do. Which is? And there is such great significance to the oh, passage of time. Oh, for crying out loud. Look at this boy. Oh, yeah, let's not forget she has a uh, white husband. So uh, if you think she's about to do something for the community, you are wrong. She ain't looking out for you. Heck, she not even black. So you can just throw that out the window, toss that out. She is Indian, okay? We are, you You stay on that side. Don't be trying to bleed over. She Indian, all right? She ain't black. I love Venn diagrams. <laughs> Do you? I really do. I love Venn oh, yeah? diagrams. Oh, Venn diagrams. About those three circles. It just <laughs> drives you wild, doesn't it? Them three circles just drive you wild. <laughs> <laughs> you think you just uh, fell out of a coconut tree? God dang it, did you fall out of a coconut tree? Did you fall out of a coconut tree? I mean, did you? Just did you? Did you fall? <laughs> <laughs> and it's funny. You exist in the context. Did you fall out of the coconut tree? It's in the context. Mm -hmm. She would give us a hard time sometimes and she would say to us, I don't know what's wrong with you, young people. What's wrong with you? You think you just fell out of a coconut tree? Coconut tree. <laughs> you exist in the context. You exist in the context. Of all in which you context. live. context. You exist in the context, okay? You just did not fall out of a coconut tree, okay? I mean, 
the stories that these people tell don't you do y'all remember corn pop yeah uh biden had some about some corn pop and some kids was rubbing his leg in the pool and his hair was standing up yeah some weird mess i understand well, she is just as about as weird and creepy as he is uh this i mean what do they think what do they think these people what do they think of our people if they got the nerve to throw this mess out here like come on now they, there's just no respect they think you're stupid they think you're stupid don't fall for that bull crap don't fall for it oh oh uh, um uh, um uh, muhammad ali yes yes for 30 points yes muhammad ali this is a grammy moment that millions of us have been waiting for is it <laughs> You think you just fell out of open a tree? You think you just fell out of open a tree, baby? That's what I'm talking about! <laughs> you think you just... <laughs> that million... You think you just fell out of a coconut tree? You think you just fell out of coconut tree? Oh my gosh, I can't believe this mess. It's just, it gets better and better with, it gets better and better with time. Lord have mercy. What is this book? What is me on my way to the polls to vote in November? We are not serious enough, people. Oh boy. We're really not. We're not serious enough. No, no, we're not. Between it's, this, it's insane. And the Renaissance coconut tree remix. Coconut that tree. The CC nut tree. We all want it. You know you want it. Coconut tree. Coconut tree. Yeah. <laughs> coconut, 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 coconut tree. Coconut tree. Coconut tree. Coconut tree. Coconut tree. Oh coconut yeah. Tree. Listen, this is gonna be the, this is gonna be the theme. Coconut tree. That now that's all everybody gonna think of when she up there. Just just dumb looking dumb as rocks with coconut trees everywhere, and it's just it's not looking good. It's just not looking good. I mean, what what's the community saying about this, huh? What what the community got to say about this? That is poor. That's not a read. It's a fact. And I called him yesterday to ask if he was voting for Kamala Harris. Uh -huh. He said no. I'm probably not voting. Got thing right. And I said, well, why not? His response: He said when he go to the grocery store and spend sixty dollars, he don't have two bags, and that's a problem for him. Whereas four years ago, that was a different story. But you have to remember that uh -oh. four years ago, we were in a global pandemic, so the whole thing is a different story. I knew I was not going to be the one to persuade him to our side, Ain't but happening. there was a call going on with Win for Black Men hosted by Roland Martin. Thousands of black men all across the country gathered on Zoom to talk about what they're going to do to support Kamala Harris. Mm. And of course, to raise money for the cause because mm. they do need them donations. Mm. So I sent him the link and I said, why don't you just spend 10 minutes on the call? Call me back. Let me know what's going on. He didn't call me back last night because he stayed on the call for more than three hours. And he got inspired and energized by all of the black men around this country who are not just in support of Kamala Harris because she's a black woman, but who are in support of change. Oh, crap. Listen, I'm calling it. Don't fall for that bull crap. Bull crap. I don't know no dudes that's in support of no Kamala Coconut Tree Harris. I don't know no dude. The scratch with that lady saying. You keep you keep it Black moving, women, sister. Hear me. You keep it. Let let do we got some 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 real uh some 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 actual real community uh 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 opinions on this thing uh, come on now very clearly because i'm gonna need you to prepare yourself for the biggest level of misogyny why you have ever witnessed in your lifetime that misogyny and racism it's gonna be something you have never witnessed or experienced in your life and we're gonna have to prepare lord have mercy now they're trying to throw it to the feminist side what is going on late black women don't do it don't do it don't my dad do is it. poor that's don't. not a Listen, don't do it. You hear me? Don't fall for the, the smoke and mirrors. She ain't gonna do nothing for you. She didn't even consider us a black. Don't do it. Get ready with me while I tell you why I will not be voting for Kamala why in not? this upcoming election. Now I know this is gonna stir a little bit of controversy. No, it ain't. That I promise you is not what I'm coming on here to do. I sure am you're not. simply here Just to drop help it. educate Christians on how I feel like the Lord is leading me to vote how i believe that we should vote as believers and so first and foremost as i want to say that this upcoming election yeah. just like all the others uh -huh. is spiritual it's not oh, really yeah. about democrat versus republican oh. or 
male versus female oh. or any of that stuff. It's really about nothing that's going on in the natural. But this is a spiritual battle. It's literally know that. light versus dark. And so because of that, when we are voting as believers, it's Where's very going with important this? that we're not going off the fact that we are a registered Democrat or we're a registered Republican or we really um, want a female president or whatever reasons, uh -huh. culture, media, family, uh -huh. um, what others will think about you. We shouldn't be going off of any of those things except for solely what the Holy Spirit is leading you to do. This election really isn't about... Okay, I don't know where she's going with this. It's, I mean, it is a spiritual battle, but it, there ain't no light versus dark when it comes to uh red versus blue it's just dark okay all dark there's no light in there at all and the spirit if the spirit was leading you if you ask me you wouldn't vote at all you just say listen let christ handle it that's it done done deal a vote for none of y'all y'all out to get us it, it it don't matter which side left right left back front it don't got thing matter they all out to get you all right i think it's pronounced kamala harris Get some I men's perspective out know. here. Some yeah, men's perspectives. Yeah, Harris, she's the original hot to a girl. That's on? the way she got what? where she is. And uh, the oh, party's shade. going down in her hands. The original hot to a girl, he says. Because, you know, she did a few things for a piece of change to, you know, get where she is, if you know what I'm saying. So, uh, yeah. We said she got her her political star, her political upstart, because she was dating this guy, Willie, can't think of his last name right now, and he was married, and he was in his 60s, and Kamala Harris was just a spring chicken, spring and that chicken. is how she entered the political scene. Like mm, got in by throwing it back to Willie. Oh, Willie was uh, getting it in. He said, listen, you want this political position? <laughs> you know what you got to do? Throw it back. Hey, come over here and shake them coconut trees, okay? <laughs> oh, no. Yep. Obama, they do what they need to do to stay close to the white power structure. Is the vice president of the United States really on the side of the people? No. Nope. Lucy insists on calling her Camilla instead of Kamala. Dr. Umar oh. claims she isn't for black people and criticizes her marriage to a white there's, man. There's, and that's just the there's power in that, what he just said. To say her name correctly. Is it a sign of deeper disrespect or is there more to the story? Man, no, no. I think it's pronounced Kamala Harris. Nope. Oh, I call her Camilla. Camilla. Mm -hmm. yeah. You just gonna run with that? Yeah, that's God what I right. That's what that will make me special. Dr. Umar says Kamala Harris isn't for black people. Why does he believe this? And is there truth behind his accusations? She it's ain't. Like Barack Obama, they do what they need to do to stay close to the white power structure and what about the rumors that she slept her way into power Gawker, either camilla harris she's the original hawk to a girl that's the Boy, way she got where she ouch. is and uh the party's going downhill if it's in her hands was, could this be oh you, they, they well, ain't never lie about that i tell you what the they States. ain't never lie about that boy if, if listen if they pull this out however they steal it or whatever they do before november <laughs> Good luck. We in trouble. I'm gonna tell you that right now. It, it's it's over. It's gonna be worse than when uh Sleepy Joe was up in there. Good God. And I'm not for either side. Don't be before you get it misconstrued. Uh, both sides are jacked the heck up. You need two wings to fly. Left wing, right ring. Yeah, and it's a bird image. You know, you need both wings to fly. So they are a pair. Okay. So ain't fall for it. Okay, so Paige, All right, you're pro what's this? woman. I, I got to hear what's going on here. I am pro woman. Um, pro woman. But in this situation, I'm. I, I don't think uh -oh. that she's going to win. I think it's good for entertainment and us women and black women. Ah, that. smart. But as far as you know, what's up? Black, whatever color. I don't think we're y'all are going to allow it. Y'all think y'all are. And I think y'all are going to band together with your votes and vote against her. That's what I think. God damn. I mean, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not in it. So yeah. Why? I, I, I'm going to just be real honest with this. She's a black woman. She ain't black. Look at all the heads. Somebody was saying where you don't, do you not see the, how that, how that's a bad idea? Elaborate. Okay, so whole panel too. Three proxy wars. Three. With 
some of the most powerful leaders in the world. She hmm. failed at the border. Failed. We have an estimation of 15 to 20 million people illegally into this country. Completely failed. That is literally overtaking. Or did it on purpose. And bankrupting Chicago to the tune of over $400 million per year. And they are in a deficit. Oakland is going out of business. San Francisco did. Oh, California. They, she don't give deficit. a gosh York, darn. They're literally cutting trash. Listen, they are she the just is focused city, on and they take a being of melanin tone, free hotels to the tune of six hundred dollars a day. They're literally taking over your school, everything, your taxpayer dollar, everything the migrant crisis. She was supposed to be in charge of this. We have a failing economy. Every single day I see people getting on getting on the Internet talking about Thirty dollars an hour is the new minimum wage because sure the is. is fucking out of control. At one point, it was at almost ten percent, depending on what city that you were. Crazy. She has Crazy. no policy, no record to stand on. One of the biggest things that she did in her career was lock up more black men than ever before. But yep. we're sitting here and voting her, leading it, her leading the charge. Politics. The very person that she, she's, she was under as far as the president of the United States of America. She called him racist during a debate. Which shows mm -hmm. you how fake she is. Yep, fake. And the only thing that we can stand on from a policy perspective is whether or not she's black and she's a woman. We yep. did that during the Obama administration. And didn't she work. didn't do anything for black people. As a matter of fact, y'all complain because the only person that he did or, or the only group of people that he really stood for is the alphabet community. And that's his landmark thing that he stood that's for it. on the day. Open the door, the floodgates so the on that. that. We have to stand on is identity politics. That shit identity didn't work politics. with Tiffany Henyard in Dalton, Illinois. It didn't work Go ahead, with brother. Karen Bass. Drop it, it on. with Lori Lightfoot in Chicago. It didn't work with Brandon Johnson that then took over his her position of Chicago. It didn't work with Andre Dickens in, in, in uh, Atlanta. It nope. doesn't work with Eric Adams in New York. Nope. It doesn't work across the country. Every doesn't work. single Democratic city is a hellhole. Yes, it is. And we sitting here talking about identity politics? Woo! It, okay, Man, so, hey, see, see, when you have the facts, you have the facts. And although you can school people and tell them everything that's wrong with this, mostly it's going to be the argument of, oh, but she's a black woman. So I got to vote for her. It's like, yo, I mean, honestly, like, I, it just doesn't make any sense. There's the whole, it's, it's, it's similar to the whole thing of saying Trump's a racist. Oh yeah. Well, guess what? When, uh, when he was in there, guess what? I could afford food. I mean, I, I, gas was low i mean whatever whatever you can say what you want about it i don't really care what he is it uh, i mean i don't vote for him anyway i don't vote for none of them but listen i know i could i could buy some stuff and be i was all right all right it was all gucci game gucci okay i'm just saying now uh, it's probably the trick of the devil again because once again you need both sides to play the field you know what i mean give the illusion of opposition is the game so hey man they they could have pulled that off and said yeah we're gonna make a sweet so they could remember once we start destroying them on this side you know and now they're gonna start to try to lean over here and we could just destroy them on that side too so it's I, I mean either way it's inevitable the destruction of the people um there is no your well-being is not being thought of it's only the demise of the people sorry to break it to you but that's where it's going is bible prophecy it is what it is okay gotta happen gotta go through it just prepare you know get smart smarten up and don't be fooled by the emotional strings that they are going to try to pull on this okay the closer we get to november the more nonsense you're going to see you know you're gonna to start to see a virus pop up oops up oh, blah 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 you know sick this COVID that blah 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 okay so just don't be fooled by the, the semantics some racial stuff might pop off you know what i mean because as close as we get there's always some racial george floyd you know some cop beating something you know black lives matter this blah blah which they did more destruction than anything with that cause so yeah just stay in tune keep your ear to the ground and do not move off of emotion because that's how you get caught up you dig
Hey man, I hope you enjoyed this video. There was some laughs in there, like always. Uh, and uh, I just got one more thing to say to you. Did you fall from the coconut tree? Like always, I'm a busy man and uh, I gotta go.